Just wondering about, uh, I mean, you're used to defending against high-end players a lot, but when, when a guy who maybe traditionally is a little more of a pass-first type guy like Marner uh, all of a sudden starts pouring the goals in, and, and is that something as a D-man that, that you take note of and that you pay attention to? Yeah, I think it definitely is because uh, it adds such a such an aspect to his game where, um, you know, if a, if a guy's pass first, you know, you're looking around before you get to him. And, um, you know, when he when he starts shooting the puck more, it's, uh, it's obviously dangerous and, and something that we have to take note of here for tonight. You, this game, in some ways, is, is a measuring stick. Like, they're obviously off to a really good start. You guys have had some moments but are still trying to find it. So is this... Is this a pretty good test for you guys to, to have to try and find it? Yeah, I think it's a good test. But every night in this North Division is a, a good test. Like, you see teams who are struggling and then all of a sudden have a breakthrough. Um, you know, look at Vancouver. Had a couple tough games and now, uh, now they're rolling. So I think any night um, you come out that these teams, like all of us in this North Division, are really competitive and uh, every night's going to be a big test. Reed Wilkins, 6.30, Chad. Thanks, Sean. Hi, Slater. I wonder if you could just tell us about the last couple of days. Uh, you know, it seemed like you were playing pretty well, but you were asked to, to sit out the last game. Can you just maybe tell us about dealing with that and now uh, hopping back in tonight? Well, I think it's obviously tough when you're not playing. Um, you know, I can only control what I can control. And... Um, you know, whether it's uh, I look at is it a, as an extra day's rest or, um, you know, getting getting my body feeling back to 100 percent, then then that's what I have to take it as. And um, it's never easy watching the games. I want to be out there helping my teammates, um, doing whatever I can. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. And and uh, I'm back now. Jim Matheson, Post Media. Couple of things, Slater. Uh, we talked about Marner. Uh, what makes Matthews' shot so difficult? And the other question I have for you is, you've moved all over. You've been left side, right side, different partners. This is somewhat different than Chicago last year, where you're kind of lining up with Mata for an awful lot of games. Well, the first part of your question, Matthews has a world-class shot. Um, you know, anytime he shoots it. I think one thing he does specifically well is his pull and drag where he really changes the angle of his shot. Like when I go down to block a shot, uh, I'm kind of reading his blade or, or reading where the guy is trying to shoot it. So uh, when he pulls it back like that and you're already committed to a block, it's, it's really tough to uh, defend. So um, we'll have to be aware of that tonight. And as for moving around with different partners, I think... Um, you know, I started there with Barry. Um, you know, we had some good games and um, good to play with him. And then I moved to Doc for for a game, and then I moved to Lars. So I've kind of been a little bit of a rover. And um, but anytime I get in the lineup, it's a it's a a blessing and uh, grateful for the opportunity. Thank you, Rob Tchaikovsky, Post Media. Hi hey Slater, uh, the taxi squad is obviously a, a sort of a new innovation this year where coaches have a lot more players at their disposal and I'm just, and the result is, a, you know, a lot of uh, quick lineup changes. I wondered if that kind of the players feel an urgency, uh, not necessarily looking over your shoulder, but knowing that there are a bunch of players there ready to, you know, take your spot. Well, I think it adds some healthy competition. Um, you know, when we're in practice, it's, we don't have many practice days, so it's about, um, you know, showing what you can in those times and really uh, bearing down. And, and, you know, when you get in the games, um, you know, it's tough when people say that you have, uh, you know, one shot to, to really do it. It's, you know, who knows the flow of the game? Who knows what's going to happen? Like, you know, there might be bad bounces or there might be... Um, you know, just fluky plays throughout the game. So you you got to just take those as they come and, and, and just be ready at any time. And um, But don't let it affect you or and don't let it affect your day-to-day. -day. It's, it's um, you know, we're all in this together and, and we're trying to uh, do something as a team. So, 
you got to keep that positive mindset and, and um, just be the best person you can for your teammate. All right. Um, and this is your ninth game in 16 days. I'm just wondering uh, fatigue levels. I know the, the schedule is more compressed, but the travel's a little better. How, where does that uh, balance fit with the players? Well, first off, I think every team's in the same boat. And, um, but obviously, it is, it is a tough schedule. And uh, you see whenever we get an off day, like I'm not moving from that uh, upstairs couch area. So, um, you know, get the Netflix going and, and, you know, get your feet up. So I, uh, I really value those days off just like everybody does around the league. Jack Michael, 630 Chad, Sportsnet. Slater, what? Just one question, and and that would be just kind of the perspective that you've brought to this chat. Are you better at that, especially shuttling, not necessarily in and out of line if you sat one game, but are you able to kind of see the bigger picture better than you did when you were trying to crack the Tampa lineup, let's say four or five years ago? Uh, I think it still hurts the same. Um, you know, any time that you're you're told you're taken out of the lineup, it's it's not easy, or you're not getting the chance tonight. It's uh, uh it doesn't feel good. But um, you know, I had, I was telling some of the guys there, uh, on the taxi squad, I said, look, I was scratched 16 games in a row to start one season in Tampa, and then all of a sudden I got a chance and played nine straight. You know, it can just happen like. Um, you know, very quickly, and uh, we've been fortunate this year without um, without having injuries so far. Knock on wood. But, um, anyways, well, everybody just has to be ready, and I think I have a great support system at home that uh, that keeps my mind um, positive and keeps my spirits up. So I, I'm very thankful for that, and. Uh, it helps me a lot. Jim Matheson, Post Media. One last thing for you, Slater. Uh, last time the Oilers played uh, Toronto, all the talk was about Matthews and and uh, Connor and then Marner and and Leon. As a defenseman, are you expecting when you, when you're talking about those players that all of a sudden it might just be a total jailbreak and it might be a six-five game? You, you played them in Toronto, and the one game was 3-1, and the other game was tight as well. So are you just expecting that it's going to be one of these, you know, games where all of a sudden it's just end-to-end -end action? <laughs> well, as a, as a defender, I'm hoping it doesn't turn into that. But um, there's going to be games like that because who knows what's going to happen on the ice? Who knows... You know, if, if somebody's feeling it one night or if somebody's not feeling it the next. So I think as for those Toronto games, I think we played them pretty tight. And, um, you know, we'll look to do the same thing here tonight. Super, thank you.